Porsche, Porsche, lands into New Jersey building second floor, leaving two dead, police say. This oh. story, I saw the headline and didn't believe it. Didn't, well, I believed it, but I had to look into it just because of how crazy of a headline that is. Second story window. Then I saw the picture and two people were killed in New Jersey early Sunday when a Porsche launched into the air and smashed into the second story of a commercial building. You imagine? You're on the second floor working at your desk. Car comes flying through the window. The sports car, a 2010 Boxster convertible, was traveling at a high rate of speed when the driver lost control, hit a center median, and struck an embankment that sent it smashing through the building. Second floor. I don't know if you can get the image here, Will, but that is elevated, man. And it went clean through the building. People just chilling, working. There must have been some serious speed to launch that. That's some action movie stuff. There has to be some sort of ramp, too. Well, it right? hit the embankment. So, yeah, there was a ramp to it, but still, Will. Still, yeah. Will. Yes, it's a lot of speed. It's got to have the speed to get up that high. And, and like, it's almost unbelievable when you look at it. Yeah. There's like a large gaping hole. It's not like it just... No, the it. car went clean in. Yeah. The crash unfolded around 6.30 a.m. as well. Why are you driving so fast? Are you late for a meeting in the Boxster? 6.30 a.m. The building which housed a real estate office and several other businesses was unoccupied at the time. Oh, interesting. Okay. So who died then? Must have been the people inside. The victims, 22-year-old and his passenger. Yeah, no one was in the building. Can you imagine? It could have been a lot worse, actually. Skid marks could be seen stretching across four lanes of traffic in the direction of the building. I mean, you'll never really know exactly what happened without some footage, some video footage, but the aftermath is probably all the indication you need of how much speed was at play. And, of course, not just the hole in the building, but the aftermath if you look at the vehicle. My goodness. The vehicle does not look like a vehicle anymore. It looks like it got crunched by one of those... Compactors? Yeah, exactly. So, anyway, that, sto that story was sort of trending, so I thought it would be worth... You're never safe, Will! No, I'd be, like, sleeping in my second floor you know apartment and then all of a sudden car it's comes wild out. it's a wild thought but in reality it's a very unlikely occurrence and thank goodness nobody was inside although you got to feel for the passenger i assumed the individual was driving reckless i'm speculating maybe not maybe they were just swerving out of i don't know something in the roadway who knows but that's crazy that thing went flying